In this video, we are going to calculate the day of the week of any date in 2023 as well as 24. The trick of this is that you need to add the day, the month and the year. So we shall start with doing the day. So the first to calculate 17 of February 23, we just put 17. Okay. February, you have to look at this chart here. Okay. So every month has a number associated with it. So for example, January is 6, February is 2, March is 2, April is 5, May is 0 and so on. Okay. To remember this, it's quite simple. The first three number is going to be 622 and the last three month is going to be 624. The middle number is going to be 503 and 514. Okay, so if you need to know the code for the month, so February, we look at February is 2, so you're going to add 2. For 2023, we are lucky because for 2023, we add 0 for the year. For different years, we're going to add different numbers, but for 2023, add 0. So technically, we do not have to add the year for 2023. So we just need to add the day and the month. So day is 17, month is 2 because February is 2, and the answer is going to be 19. The next step you're going to do, you're going to divide 19 with 7. So there are 7 days in a week and you are going to get the answer of 2. Remainder 2 times 7 is 14, remainder 5. This 5 will indicate what day it is. So, so if it is 1, it's a Monday, 4 is a Thursday and please note 0, if there's no remainder, it's a Sunday. Okay. So if 5, so the answer is going to be a Friday. So that is how you solve any date in 2023 and 2024. Okay. Okay. So now we look at the second example. 26th of May 2023. So 26th is going to be the first, the day. Okay. 26th. May, you look at this chart. May will be zero. We are lucky. And then year also zero. And then we are going to get a total of 26. Next step, what we're going to do, we are going to divide by seven. When you divide by 7, what you get is that you're going to get 3. 3 times 7 is 21, remainder 5. And again, 5 is a Friday. So on the 26th of May, 2023 is again going to be a Friday. Okay. Okay. Now we look at 9th of August, 2023. That is actually the Singapore National day of independence so nine is just going to be at nine august you look at august it's going to be one and the year is zero so you're going to add nine plus one plus zero is going to be ten next step you're going to divide by seven and you're going to get one remainder three so the remainder three says that you are going to be a wednesday so that is how you calculate the day in 2023 now what happened in 2024 Okay, 2024 is a is a uh, leap year. Okay, any number that can be divided by four is a leap year. For leap year, so you have to follow this rule. So for the year 2024, for January and February, you add one to the answer. If anything from March onwards to December, you're going to add two for the year 2024. Okay, let's look at an example again. Okay. So the first example is 22nd of April 2022. So what you do, you're going to put 22. April, look for it, is 5. And April is after January. So you're going to add 2. Okay, so you're going to add 2. So April, you're going to add 2. And you're going to add the total now. Okay, when you add the total, it's going to be 22 plus 5 is 27. 27 plus 2 is going to be 29. 29 divided by 7 you're going to get 4 remainder 1 okay 4 times 7 is 28 plus 1 is 29 so remainder 1 so it has to be a monday okay so now we look at the second example 7 on november 2024 so 7 plus november is 2 and because november is after january and february you have to add 2 so you're going to be 11 Okay, next step, you're going to divide 11 by 7. You're going to get 1 remainder 4. So 4 will give you a Thursday. So 7 of November 2024 is going to be a Thursday. 
Last but not least, we're going to calculate 28 January. So remember, January is going to be at 1. Okay, so January is going to at 1. Because January and February is at 1. So we are going to calculate January. So 28, January, the code is 6. And you're going to add 1. You add them up, it's going to be 28 plus 6 is 20, 34. 34 plus 1 is 35. 35 divided by 7, uh, you're going to get 5 remainder 0. As I said before, remainder 0 means is going to be a Sunday. So that is how you're going to calculate the day of the week in 2023 and 2024. Have a good day everyone and see you soon.